And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Abzan Reclamation in Standard. Uh, we are doing best of three here, even though it's best of one day Monday, because we have a sweet donation deck. So this was a viewer submitted deck that we have that we did change up some stuff um, a little bit ago on a stream uh, to, to help it uh, work a little bit better. But this looks pretty exciting. So basically what we have here is Abzan Control that uh, has a flashy finish, basically. We have uh, Wilderness Reclamation to be able to give us extra mana, and we have Divine Visitation to make um, our to all of our tokens that are created, turn them into 4-4 four, four angels. All right, so the reason to have those two things and what, what we're trying to do here... Hey, what's up, Azur? Uh, thanks for that sub. Thank you so much, Azur. Um, so the reason why why we have those two things is to uh, take advantage of March of the Multitudes and Dawn of Hope. Those are like our, our finishers that these can enable to be even better. Uh, of course, March of the Multitudes, we can make X 1-1 one, one to, uh, tokens. But with Divine Visitation, those are all going to be 4-4s four instead. Dawn of Hope is going to be kind of the key to the deck where <clears throat> we can spend four mana to make a 1-1. One, one, and, of course, if we ever gain life, we can also pay two to draw a card. So it can also be a card advantage engine. Now, that four mana to make a 1-1 one, one can be four mana to make a 4-4 four, four with Divine Visitation. Of course, that's pretty costly. Like, that's a lot of mana, spending four mana just to make a 1-1. One, one. Let's uh, blind. <laughs> Thank you so much for that resub. Yep, we're using some uh, Wilderness Reclamation here. Um, let's see. That's our, our 12th sub of the day. So, yeah, usually... Four mana to make a token is too much mana, but that's what that's where the Wilderness Reclamation comes into play. We can use our mana during our turn uh, with whatever else we want to do, you know, play a Golgari Queen or, or Othakaya or whatever. And then we untap our lands, and then we have extra mana to be able to make the 1-1s. One of course, we can also make just 1-1s one during our turn and then have the Reclamation untap our lands and have our mana available for instant speed interaction, whether it's like Dispark or Mortify or stuff like that. Uh, last part about the deck is our top end. We have one Garrick, two Liliana. So we have um, some six mana Planeswalkers that make tokens. And of course, those tokens can be four, four angels if we have Divine Visitation in play. Liliana can get us a whole lot of card draw also every time any of these tokens are dying from Dawn of Hope or Visitation or anything else. So yeah, we're Abzan Control with trying to finish with that. You know, we're, you know, we're not playing like real creatures per se. We have Murderous Rider that's just in here for Swift End that we can play as a creature, and then we can make creatures with Dawn of Hope, March of the Multitudes, and our Planeswalkers. <clears throat> so we're not playing real creatures, we're just playing removal, and that, that lets us play Kaya's Wrath, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's Like we do with donation decks, we're going to play a league. We're going to play until we either win five or lose two, whatever happens first. <laughs> no, this is not my first Reclamation deck ever, but no, I don't, I don't usually play too much reclamation i didn't like it whenever it was printed and you know it was printed and then with uh nexus and everything I, I didn't like i didn't like the card design of how it just allows you to have um an obscene amount of mana compared compared to your opponent but then but now they just keep on printing stuff like that you know now there's just fires of invention which is the same kind of thing <clears throat> and uh it's just kind of the norm now I suppose. The real Horatio getting that Twitch Prime sub in here. So thanks for resubbing there, Horatio. Our 13th sub of the day. So right now, Golgari Queen and March of the Multitudes aren't doing a whole lot for us. We don't have, really have too much stuff to sacrifice. I guess we'd have the Oath of Kaya if we get to play that here. Well, I want to ex I want to exile this for good, so it doesn't doesn't come back. Because Order of Midnight and all that kind of stuff. Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> Next of eight did nothing wrong. I know, is is reclamation. They did wrong stuff, not Nexus of Fate. Huh, post combat? Nature will take back what rightfully belongs to it. Get out of the way if I were you. That's okay, yeah. So yeah, basically the... Yes, yeah, like whenever you take damage, see the service goes over there and is like, what are you doing? You put you just put the mouse over the Cerebus and it does that. Then you click. Yeah, and it barks like whenever they counter your spell or hit you for damage, it barks at them. Certainly hoping these two things, they don't draw another 1-1 one, one for a little bit. Hmm. I would normally want to play Golgari Queen here. But they scryed to the top confidently and then played this other Lovestruck Beast. That feels like that's another 1-1. One, one. Oh. Or it's that thing. Wow, that and a 1-1? One, one? Well, that and a 1-1 one, one were pretty dead. Those are two good good cards to have. Kaya's Wrath. Come on, deck. Ugh, not Kaya's Wrath. Well, I have one play, and only one play that will that will uh, let me survive, and that's instant speed march. Song. And we have to block with both of them. Because if we just block with one, if we just chump block with one, they could just murder us, rider it, and, and then I lose. Because I need to gain the life with the lifelink here.
All right, we got to... Yeah, if they just attacked with the beast, I would have lost. But, I mean, come on, you can't really expect wilderness... Or, you can't really expect March of the Multitudes. Makes sense if they attacked with both. Ugh, I need that last... I need that last turn. Like, if that was my draw instead of Reclamation, could have killed the beast. Need to hit the spark there. Oh yeah, they could have yeah, they could have rider their own token to win. That's true. That's true. Hmm. So I think we want to cry the carnariums. I guess Othakaya really doesn't kill very much stuff. All right, what if we go with this? Let's try this. It is, MC. Yep. So I think we, we want the Reclamations to be able to team with our Dawn of Hope. To be able to make a lot of 1-1 one, one blockers. Not great against Questing Beast, though. So we got an extra to Spark in here. I wouldn't mind drawing Akaya's Wrath. I wouldn't mind that. Or <clears throat> even Cry the Carnarium. I wouldn't mind that either. Okay, I don't mind that. Thanks, QQ. There you go. Questing Beast is such a good card. And that card is good. We've had a lot of opponents today curving into Questing Beasts. That's been causing us a lot of losses. It's been costing us. It's been causing us a lot of losses today. didn't do anything.
like you if for some reason Garrick survives, then we get to Divine Visitation, zero, make two four fours if they don't have another Questing Beast. Just please don't have a third Questing Beast. Okay, good. Not a third Questing Beast. Now don't have a Vivian to give Trample. They discard Brontodon. I wonder what cards they have in hand. They do have a Vivian. An apocalypse. I will survive you. Okay. That's not that's not bad for me. Because now we get to just trade one for one here. And then uh, this thing kills Vivian. We basically just traded our Garrick for their Vivian and their... We just trade our Garrick for their Vivian, Rotting Regisaur, and Bronzedon. Okay. It worked. It worked. We did it. Combo hype. <laughs> yeah, the reclamation smoke screen. <laughs> Time for some zomb angels. That's all right, won that with won that with the zomb angels. We need land. We have 26 in the deck. Do I cut the two on the draw with the scry land? Because we have 26. I guess I could have shocked in and played the Dawn of Hope. I already know we're going to have to shock in the next turn anyway. I want to kill this before they play the Great Henge. E Weaver. Resub in here. How long is that? 27 awesome months. Thank you so much there, E Weaver. I really, really appreciate all the support. You're amazing. Our 14th sub. Update that. Oh, Edgewall, Innkeeper. Okay, Leyline Prowler. Be a creature that would ramp us and have lifelink death touch. That is true. That is true. The thing with, with us playing the, the wrath effects though, I'm not sure we really want to be playing creatures early. Because it would just give them a target like for their swift end and everything like that. But I guess I am playing a 2-3 here. Civilization has crept. 
stepped too far. Tear it down. My, my, how you've grown. I wouldn't mind them blocking with a 1-1 one, one mm, and I helping like my Liliana wipe their battlefield. Minus three Vivian. Go Vivian minus three. Oh. That's just game. This will be fun to watch. I mean, I guess my best hope is that they don't have another creature that can kill Murderous Rider right now, if they just don't have a creature in hand. Which seems pretty far-fetched. I can I can attack and just sacrifice this, and then I save two life, and then I Murderous Rider, kill this thing, and then play the new Murderous Rider. But that's just the same thing as just playing the Garrick. Yeah, we're just a little too slow for our... For this quest, for this questing beast. Try not to lose your head out here. So I guess they do have another creature, because all they need is a creature that kills Murderous Rider. So like a creature that's bigger than Murderous Rider, because then the Vivian kills the Murderous Rider and they attack us and we die. We put up a good fight though. Hey, well, we haven't had the combo reclamation combos with Dawn of Hope. That's that's the combo there. We haven't had those two out yet. The, like next turn, we were probably going to go Dawn of Hope reclamation. No, there's no Kethos in here. That was a pretty cool move, though. You know, say my opponent saying good game and then thinking. That was, that was classy. I was very impressed.
Don't think we need Legion's End against Watery Grave. Plus, I wouldn't mind drawing lands. So shocking in the hollowed fountain there. It could be Devin's veto. And so right now, all we're doing is just hitting land drops and trying to figure out when, if we're going to do something. Could throw out this wilderness reclamation to get countered. But then that just gets a card out of my opponent's hand. My hope is that they don't have land drops. And that they're just that's that's the hope is they don't hit, have land drops. And that they would just, you know, have to like go to discard and you know have like cards stuck in hand. But now it's looking like that's gonna that bad situation that bad scenario is going to manifest on our side. So we're gonna have to just throw down this reclamation this next turn and. If we draw a land, we could maybe resolve Golgari Queen because we swift end, they counter swift end. Yeah, so they're they were out of. But unfortunately, we did not draw the land for Golgari Queen. <clears throat> that would have been my best play, is play Golgari Queen to eat that. I have practiced with thoughtfulness before action. The Magic Mirror. Well then. Why can't that be an untapped land? It made my life easier. So we need this to spark us for Magic Mirror. Do we want a backup to spark? Maybe. No.
I was hoping they were going to counter the Murderous Rider. And that the Oath of Kaya would kill the Narset. Can we have that last turn? Wilderness Reclamation is good, is good bait. Everybody keeps on trying to, keeps on trying to kill it. That hurts. <laughs> yeah, I, no, yeah, I, I don't like Wilderness Reclamation as a, as a card. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just part of a donation deck. You're welcome. You're welcome, BZZ. Well, that's good. We get, to, we get to draw the card. With them doing that. I hope you washed your hands first. Good help is easy to find in war. Normally, we wouldn't be able to draw a card. Uh, like, or if they kill it during my turn, I wouldn't be able to draw a card. I mean, uh, all they had to do is just do the bounce part. They just did the return target creature to its owner's hand. I didn't draw a card. So they have one, two, three, four, five instants right now. So they can so Magic Mirror would cost four mana for them to play. Ooh. Another one of those. 
this hurts. Yeah, they can't counter that because we'd then be able to resolve Liliana. But we get to not allow them to... Fury will only lead you astray. Um, Narset again. Opponent's down to 22 minutes. What's more important there, resolve Liliana or Despark? I don't think I can use... I don't think I can play Reclamation because it's too risky. If they, if they just don't counter Reclamation, then they would counter the Despark and then I'm in trouble. Yeah, we have Divine Visitation. Draw one card here. That was good for me. That we got Reclamation got countered and not Liliana or Despark. If they would have just let that resolve, I would have been in trouble. Good thing about the lifelink creatures is they give me like getting the more life really helps with the castle lock twain. Basically, they play a sweeper, then we march to the multitudes. I'm not going to just march right now, even though they were tapped out. Huh. Sorcery speed, Lockmere Serpent. One, two, three, four, five, six.
So I think they were trying to get this other March of the Multitudes out of my hand. It's definitely what it seemed like there. We don't really need this Divine Visitation. It's perfectly fine getting absorbed. Veto. Getting a lot of lands over here for March of the Multitudes. Lasso lands. <laughs> Sorry, Kittles. Fairy. All right, so we'll march for four. Still be able to castle Lock Twain. This isn't a fight you can win. If they Kaya's wrath, we resolve Liliana. Underneath this absorb. Guess I got to be careful with this Lockmare Serpent, because I can't play instance because of the Time Raveler. That's more like it. I haven't seen any of our Dawn of Hopes yet. That'd be a nice one. Um, no, not really, MC, no. Last card, another veto, drown in the lock. Well, Dawn of Hope's actually more valuable than Liliana. Don't I think. I got this. Maybe not. I don't know. It makes lifelink creatures. Lifelink creatures are cool. Yeah. 
And we can make more creatures. Maybe attack to fairy to keep them from bouncing and drawing another card. I'm getting too old for this. Oh right, we can do that too. All right, so one, two, three. I'm gonna decline. I've just enough mana to make three things. <laughs> Thanks, wizard. It's for QQ doing good work. Oh, really, Sincrise? You ordered a new PC now, too? That's awesome. Yeah, what a world. Don of Hope better than Lily. <clears throat> and all this mana. Don't want them bouncing Dawn of Hope with Teferi and then absorbing it, so that's why I attacked Teferi. Let's slow this down. That is not the correct thing to bounce. This might be a bad idea. You want to try out the VR stuff? Somebody said in, in Discord that my computer is good enough for VR stuff. I've never... I don't know anything about VR stuff whatsoever, though. I, don't, I didn't know that VR stuff was for computers. I thought there was, like, their own devices, you know, like a PlayStation or whatever. Should have bounced the Dawn of Hope and then recountered it whenever I tried playing it, but we also found an, a new Dawn of Hope, so that's good too. <laughs> I tried VR once, it's amazing. Almost lost my footing, leading against a digital shelf. Hey, Roadie Mac, thanks for that support. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. I'll show some love. My my regular hype boats are, are kind of gone, so I'm using the foil ones. I'd have to refresh the stream to get them back. Twitch does that every once in a while. Like, emotes just go away. Um, don't do not do that. Don't We're playing a, a good game here. Don't go get something out of your sideboard. So they're at, they're at less than 15 minutes. We're in game one. Oh, thanks, Roddy Mac. Yeah, this is Death Cap for Cutie, uh, title and registration. This album is really good. It's just an album I... Wait, attack first. What are you doing? Let's attack. I think that's the second time they didn't attack for Kaiser, I think. I think they could have dealt an extra six damage. I used to listen to this album in college a lot. So withdrawing that land out of the one extra mana that could draw a card, and then I still have three activations available. I'm known for my excellent timing. Ah, they figured it out. But it's too late now. Coffee Black 77. Reseven for the fourth month. Also, thanks, Coffee Black. What I study? I studied sports management. Obscures with the Twitch Prime sub. It was a is a business degree. Sports management. I <clears throat> did not end up getting a job in sports management and just decided to be a teacher instead. But. That's what I went to college for. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. 
All right, so we got Duress, Ceratops. This was a matchup that we talked about that was going to be tough for us. But we ended up getting that first game. I don't think I need more Disparks. Dev Scammer, with the, also getting the Twitch Prime sub in here. Man, we are on a... Uh, we're on a cruise. There we go. We're on a cruise with all... The, all these people subbing. Y'all are awesome. <laughs> Frank Force says, I also did sports management, and I also do not use it. I guess Reclamation is more useful than Divine Visitation. Just gonna take out the divine visitations. It doesn't matter if our creatures are one ones or four fours; they'll kill them either way. Yeah, the the reclamation Teferi doesn't bother us for reclamation for, on our side, because what we use reclamation for it's not instant speed spells. It's for Dawn of Hope. It's for activating Dawn of Hope and for uh, activating Castle Arden Vale. Mostly for Dawn of Hope. It doesn't doesn't really matter if they have Teferi when we have Reclamation. Doesn't hurt us. <laughs> sorry, Kittles. I know Divine Visitation is Bay. I'm sorry. I'm keep putting the card down. Uh, no, I no Doctor K. Whenever whenever I was in college. You know, gosh, a long, long time ago, uh, esports was not a thing, and so now I don't think the sports management degree really helped me with esports. No, I don't really consider myself doing esports. I don't know. I'm just, you know, a, a teacher here behind the computer. Yeah, there are two March of the Multitudes in the deck. So yeah, it is instant speed, and that could we could make a larger one with. Reclamation at end step, but it would still be able to be swept up by a sweeper on their turn. So it's not, this is not a matchup where we want to be casting. A large march of the multitudes on our end step anyway. It's possible my my opponents having connection problems, which is kind of why they're playing slower. I could be having connection problems here. Yeah, we went one six with Naya. Somebody else was in the chat playing the same deck, also playing best of one. They said they went eleven and two. <laughs> so, um, you know, it happens. We just played against a whole lot of aggro decks that were curving out really well and just beat us down. It was best of one. <laughs> just happens. There's... There's a lot more variance with the best of one. Yeah, opponent's gonna run out of time. It looks like they, looks like their connection problems got them disconnected. All right, and we're one on one. An hour later, we fit, we have finished two matches, and we didn't, even, we didn't even play games two or three there, and <laughs> still took us an hour to finish. One match in one game. I have not tried any RAL adventures, but that does sound pretty sweet. RAL copying them. No, they were no, they were talking about the Naya. It was when it was when I was playing Four Color Gates. They they said that about the Naya deck because, you know. 
they played more games and so it took them longer. Lucky Rao. So four Lucky Clover, four Rao, and then a bunch of... Um, adventures. Oh, you're going just blue-red? Yeah, you can't, you can't... I don't think you can do this in just blue-red. No, like, I'll, I'll, I don't like... Yeah, I don't think I'd like this in just blue-red. I mean, well, basically, the problem with, with, with just blue-red is you don't have enough mana. That's the problem. I basically think there's no reason not to play Beanstalk Giant. Beanstalk Giant is what makes Lucky Clover good. And Fae of Wishes and all this stuff. You need Beanstalk Giant. But yeah, having Ral and a couple Clovers out and then Bone Bone Crusher Giant, that does make that pretty ridiculous. Got one of those already. Which is good. Dawn of Hope's going to be good here for the late game. Just making life blink creatures for us. Yeah, stare them down. My Cerebra's going to stare down the Scourge Bitter. Surprise it's still attacking. Surprise it's not scared. Oh, I miss Buddy Lands. I grow bored with this fight. Definitely miss Buddy Lands. Another war boss. We need to draw Kaya's Wrath. But we did. I mean, are we dead here? Two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, we'll just we'll just let it happen. I think that we're not quite dead. I think we're taking about ten. Never mind, we took 12. Kai's Wrath would have been a good one. But we're probably not surviving too much longer. Alright, cry. And that's it. <laughs> no, Kaya's good. Alright, so we got Cry and Kaya. Get these things out of here. Maybe not. Um... The spark definitely goes. And then, yeah, I think we have to trim the reclamation visitation package. We just go twos. Could cut them completely, play duress.
I think visitation is a little bit more valuable than reclamation. I think that four four, like getting four fours, could be pretty important. If we have Dawn of Hope, reclamation would be pretty nice though. And I guess maybe we don't have the t the turn the time to play this. Yeah, I could also just go with Ceratops as a blocker. Could go with that too. All right, one reclamation. We don't need a second. Just get the first one. All right, we're gonna look for white mana. We have 19 white sources. Shouldn't be that difficult to find white mana. Shouldn't be too difficult. Hey, Dylan, good morning. Awakened Inferno. I'm just gonna keep it because it's a land, but obviously it's not a white mana, so it's not my favorite land. And they have, unfortunately they have three different creatures. I don't get to really get good Legion's End value. They got the third land. Darn, that means there's definitely war boss coming. We need to draw land. Any land would let us Golgar you know, have Golgari Queen could kill war boss. Um, Cry the Carnarium is our other really good draw besides the land. Which Cry the Carnarium would be a better draw. But that would have been nice if they missed their land drop and not had war boss here right away to put that pressure on us. I don't really re regret the keep, their 26 land deck, having the double temple. And, you know, duress, legion's end, and everything. We just didn't get there. Yeah, we have a lot of white in this deck. Oh, I guess oh, I guess this is a different deck than I was thinking of that, that has all the white that we do, but still. We may not have 19. I was thinking about the deck earlier. The, the previous deck we just played. Um, but 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Dilt. We finally drew, <laughs> finally drew Castle Arden Vale. Never had it before. Worst time to draw it. Yep, cry emotes, for sure. That was unfortunate. Way to end. But still a pretty cool and interesting deck. I think it did... I think this deck did what we had it set out to do. Um, we wanted a deck that was... You know, semi-competitive with a flashy finish. I think that's what the... I think this deck accomplished that. It did seem like we could use another Wrath. I know I, I take out a lot of Wrath. It seems like we need one extra Wrath. Um, I think... Ah. I think we could play that fourth Wrath over the fourth Reclamation. Or could also play Realm Cloak Giant there instead of Kaya's Wrath. Want a Realm Cloak Giant instead. Either one.
Um, you know, like, I don't, I mean, like, Realm Cloak Giant, of course, you get to play as the 7-7 seven, seven later on. Kai's Wrath, you can play at 4 mana, though. Hey, Hawkeye. Come and join the stream. Um, but, you know, like, we, we died to a bunch of creature decks, and so it seemed like we need a little bit, and so that means it seems like we need a little bit more removal. What would help improve the consistency? I mean, honestly, we're just not going to be consistent whenever we're playing these six six or how we just had it, seven cards, honestly. <laughs> um, probably just going just straight up abs and control and not playing reclamation or divine visitation and just playing con abs and control and just with liliana garrick dawn of hope as finishers and i mean at that point you don't really necessarily need dawn of hope but dawn of hope's pretty sweet um cyborg you could have more sweepers in the sideboard Maybe instead of Kaya, have like you know have an extra cry instead of a Kaya, kind of thing. They're both they're both very good against the Witch's Oven decks, but then Cry the Carnarium does more against other decks. Okay, you, you're thinking about cutting Reclamation and March because you just want to do Angel stuff. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, if you just want to do Angel stuff, yeah, Reclamation and March could definitely be cut. Yeah, and then you can play like Ugin or another Garrick. Play an Ugin. You know, you can play four or five of the six mana Walkers because they're all just so good. Um, Beanstalk Giant, of course, as we talked about, could give us give you some ramp there too to get to the higher end. Yeah, probably something like that. Like Beanstalk, Beanstalk Giant gets you a little bit of ramp in there. Um, or just, you know, just more removal, more things that draw cards, more uh, more stuff like that. All right, but there we go. So there's Abzan Reclamation. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, make sure to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And, um, and of course, feel free to leave some comments if you have some, some ideas for the deck for making Abzan control with uh, divine visitation focused. Uh, that's the person that donated is thinking about maybe just going more focused on divine vis divine visitation. So feel free to leave some comments over in on YouTube as well. But thank you so much for watching some Abzan reclamation from Hawkeye and myself. We'll see you for the next video. Take care.